Hello and welcome back to another Warcraft video. So this time we're going to be talking about scaling raids and uh, it's mainly just the response video for that uh, video that I put up back there on Saturday. Now overall the response was actually really great. A lot of people seemed to like the idea and a lot of people had great suggestions and I'll go over the, um, a few of them. Actually there's a lot of stuff that I didn't really come up with myself so well done everyone. And uh, yeah, of course, comments are in no particular order, really, it's just the order that I read them in, so, you know, no preferences or anything like that. But uh, yeah, let's, let's just get straight into the meat of the video, because damn, there is a lot of really good stuff here. So first of all, Septarian said, what if they offered a new currency instead of loot? So that all older raids would give you currency that you could buy tabards, uh, mounts, transmog gear, or pets with. Maybe even classic raid gear, but a recolored version with class restrictions removed or something like that. I would love black and red judgment for my death knight. Alright, so first of all, I think the idea of a new currency is actually pretty cool. Now, I guess there could be a bit of an issue in that you kind of, you do, you do all this content and then all of the reward and points that you get are funneled all the way back into one single NPC or vendor that you, you know, buy the stuff off. I think it's perhaps a little bit more fitting to a role-playing game if you actually get the stuff within the dungeons. But still though, if there was some sort of old raid currency, maybe it could give some cool little toy items or, as you said, tabards or things like that. I just think that maybe gear or mounts would fit a little bit better with um, just dropping from their respective raids. Now that said, if they were to re-release a thing like this, or not re-release, just oh, flat out release it as some sort of new big ticket feature, then I guess it would actually make sense um, if they were to uh, just put in one or two, you know, maybe a new mount or a new transmog set that you could buy with these overall points. But I think that if you want to get Black Temple related gear, I think it does make the most sense if you get that from Black Temple itself, just with this being an RPG and everything. Still though, um, it's a good idea and the, um, the principle of new currencies and things like that does really, it did really ring a bell with a lot of people that commented. Okay, so the next comment is from Nicholas Ibar, I think, um, something like that, and he said, If they scale the player for the old raids, then maybe they could offer personal loot for these raids. That way you could have a group of, say, Ulduar players that are anywhere between level 80 and 100 using personal loot, meaning that everyone could get something level appropriate. So this actually comes into the idea of the gear that you get actually being usable. And I'm not particularly sure if the gear being usable is a good idea, because... It just kind of subverts other areas of gear progression. I think, though, that if there was, say, a, a daily quest that would give a piece of gear a bit like what they're doing with challenge modes in Warlords, then that would make sense. But I'll probably talk about that more later. As for a loot system, though, I think personal loot would be the way to go for these scaled things, because the amount of ninja looting and competition that there would be over a certain piece of gear, um, just with the traditional loot system, would be a little bit ridiculous. Like, what if you have three hunters that are in a Black Temple group that want the Black Bow of the Betrayer? Well, honestly, for content like that, I think it's okay if personal loot can kind of help with that regard and cut down on the ninja looting and the whining and the sort of complaining and arguments that generally happen in situations like that. I know that a lot of people are critical of personal loot, but honestly, I think that it is the best option for something that is designed to be puggable. And uh, hell, maybe they could even uh, like just give people the choice of personal loot or not, depending on if they're going in with a matchmate group or with their their guild or something like that. I'm not particularly sure, but whatever. I'm sure they'll find a way to do something like that in a way that makes sense. Okay, so the next comment is from Malzone10. And they say, do you think that with revamped dungeons, they should only keep newer things for the heroic mode? And then switching back to the normal mode would basically be how the raid or dungeon originally was. I really miss the old Shadow Fang, um, Fang Keep, and I really um, don't want them to change it. Actually, this guy specifically said he didn't want, I think, Blackrock Spire to be changed. And then he also said that for raids, there, they could be may um, maybe have a switch so that you could either do the new 5-man version of Zulgurub or perhaps the old 40-person version one. Because, you know, maybe you want to go back kill Hakar again. And I think that's fair enough, actually. In the specific example of Zulgurub, they obviously didn't need to delete the old version of Zulgurub from the game. That was deliberately done to make a, a little bit of continuity sense. So I guess I do know where they're coming from there, but I think that for a lot of people, it... There was still some content there with uh, ZG. You were able to go back there, get some cool transmog gear or something like that. And I don't think that they really accomplished a great deal by removing it. So, yeah, I think absolutely. If they are going to revamp somewhere like Deadmines or something like that, 
it's totally cool if you go back in the normal version and uh, that's just as it was. I'd really like to go back to old Dead Minds as an example. Now, one issue with that is that if it is perhaps something like Dead, Dead Minds, maybe the new version of Dead Minds at level 20 is just better than the original one. So I'm not really too sure how they would handle a problem like that. So uh, anyway, yeah, let's just jump on to the next question. And it is from Ben Calendar, I think. And he said, I personally think that the loot from old school raids should be a bag with a chance of a mount or a pet just like we have now. The bag should be guaranteed from each boss though. Maybe they could have a chance of dropping any mount that you perhaps couldn't purchase. Um, Black Mark, uh, yes, Black Mark Auction House exclu um, excluded. Okay, so that's actually an interesting idea. Basically a little bit like getting a raid version of those, um, those special bags that I think tanks can sometimes get from LFD. I think that would be actually rather interesting though. I suppose it would make more sense if you would have a transmog bag for a specific uh, like raid. So you'd have the Black Temple transmog bag or the, the Mount Hyjal transmog bag or something like that. And the reason I say that's because I guess it just does make a little bit more sense getting gear from its relevant raid, I suppose. But it's definitely a cool idea. Now, alter um, alternatively, if they were going to do, say, a daily or weekly quest, well, perhaps that quest itself could just give you a bag at the end in addition to something else. Um, they could give you an actually decent chance of getting a piece of transmog gear. Still, though, I think the idea of random bags could certainly be used to good effect here. Alright, so next, let's move on to a question from Aaron Royale. Or Anon Royale. I don't know where I got Aaron from. I guess there's loads of A's, N's, and O's, so that's, that is fair enough. Okay, so he said, The Raid of the Week sounded like an amazing feature. Why did they remove that in the past expansion? I would have loved to do something like that um, in my many, many hours doing nothing but downing, or yeah, his many, many hours after he downed Grosh. And you know what? I absolutely agree. Why did it go? Um, I'd, I'd actually really like to know that because honestly, I thought it was a great system and I wish it was still here. It would have given us a great reason to go back to some of the old raids and that sort of thing. Now, I think it would have worked a little bit better in Wrath of the Lich King because you had more raids, really. You had Eye of the... not Eye of the Storm, um... Oh, you had the Eye of Eternity, you had Sartharian's Lair, you had Naxxramas, Ulduar, Trial of the Crusader. Um, and I think it's really just the addition of those two one-boss raids gave a little bit more variety than you would have got with, say, Mists. Though with the, the first... actually, no, with the first Mist here being three separate raids, I guess you could absolutely do that, and it would make sense. Honestly, yeah, why, why did... Why did they take that out? It was a really fun feature, and it gave you a unique and different thing to do every week that you could look forward to, and it gave a nice reward. So, absolutely. Um, I have no idea why they did that, so I can't answer your question, but I can say it's also a question that I share. And hopefully they do that in Warlords or something similar. So the next question is from Gendo Akari, and he said, A really good reason would be if they could give you bonuses for your garrison. So, he gave one example, which was... Um, equipment for your guys, um, so they could clear a, a mission faster or something like that, or perhaps a bonus for a building, um, so we could give faster production of materials and that sort of thing. Well, I think I'd, I'd actually rather not have it be specific gameplay, like improving ones in a way, so I wouldn't really have bonuses on that, but what I would have is uh, like a trophy room. So if you go back, you kill Illidan, I don't know, maybe you have one of the horns of Illidan just chilling out there, or I don't know, um... Uh, fucking, I don't know, Gruul's, uh, Gruul's loincloth, you could just hang that up over your mantelpiece. Um, oh, no, actually, it's just get caught in the fire, but you know what I mean, trophies from bosses. I think that would be really cool, and if you could get that from the older raids at the scaled up, let's just call it legacy difficulty, then I think that would make a lot of sense, and I think garrisons are going to do better if people can personalize them and really make it feel like the garrison is their own, and it's really interesting and specific to them. So I think that, uh, yeah, some cosmetic things for garrisons would be a really, really nice way to do things. Okay, so next we have a question, or more a comment, from Nathan uh, Matchell, who said, I think that it's a really interesting idea, and I'd really like to see it implemented in Warlords of Draenor. It would make sense if, um, with the expansion being about time travel, and since LFR is becoming a tourist mode, the ability for new players such as myself to go and take down Ragnaros, Illidan, Arthas, etc. would be really cool. Perhaps loot drops could be level 100 versions of the original awards, but with the same item level as Draenor LFR gear for transmogging purposes. Okay, so first of all, on the topic of the actual loot quality, it wouldn't need to be the same item level as the Draenor stuff for transmog purposes, like you'd be able to transmog into it anyway, and I don't know if I'd have it giving you any stats. 
I'd say that maybe you could get a loot bag of LFR or even flex quality once a week or whatever for doing these, but I don't think the actual gear itself should be scaled up because I think that would actually take away from the integrity of just having core sets of Warlords of Draenor gear. And I think it really is important that they do that, but still through a system like this, offer a engaging way to acquire Transmog gear that is actually really um, involving multiplayer combat and that kind of thing. But as for the idea of um, this being great for new players, I never actually thought of that. And uh, for the people who perhaps are, you know, just going to hit level 100, they'll have Garrison, uh, you know, the Garrison uh, LFR, and maybe some outdoor content. Well, being able to go back and do these legacy raids would certainly be a great, uh, a great amount of new content. Well, effectively new content, at least additional content. It would be more to do at Endgame, and I think that really would be quite important, and... Yeah, it could just be a great boon to the game, so absolutely fantastic, and I think, uh, yeah, that's just another reason why this would fit the game quite well. Alright, so there's another question here, or comment from Jordan Van Os, who said, IMO, I think scaling up dungeons would be bad, since a lot of dungeons have suffered from it. Look at Naxxramas, it was messy and not well implemented, and then things like ZG and ZF were also messy, and I'm really worried about seeing content scaling down from 25 people down to 5, it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, and I actually just include this comment here to say that I don't mean what you think I mean. Um, I mean scaling players' uh, item level and damage and skills, etc. down to a certain level. So if you were going into uh, Molten Core, you'd be scaled down to level 60 or something similar to that. It would, it could still be the, maybe just, I don't know, a 25 slash, or not just like a flex player version or something like that. It could be probably, I guess, rather easy to apply those mechanics. To a flexible system, maybe? Hmm, not particularly sure, but they could definitely do something like that, but I definitely wouldn't want them to change everything into a ZG or ZA style heroic dungeon. When I say scaling, I mean you just scale players down to the same item level as the original vanilla bit of content untouched. That's what I mean, and I think that could work out quite well. But there's definitely a bit of an issue there, like, would they be able to make it flexible? How hard would that be? Would it take much in the way of resources? It's hard to say. They already can scale the players up and down. It's just that adding in a flexible system may be a little bit of a resource drain on them. So, yeah, that's, I suppose, the one issue that a system like this would have to deal with first. Okay, so next question is from Entropy Sylvanus, who says, think about it, There's, if they're scaling down your gear, to a raid, then it's likely the gear requirements for those raids will be pretty much obsolete. Pugs won't be demanding a, a huge gear requirements because once you get in there, everyone's gear will be the same. This means that those who never got into raiding much due to scary gear requirements will now be able to get into those old raids and maybe spark off a raiding career and that would carry forward into the current content and uh, he thinks it's a, or she thinks it's a great idea. So I think, yeah, that's actually a fair point. Now, it depends exactly how scaling works. Do they scale everyone to one base normalized level, or do they just get, uh, like scale you down percentile-wise until you are the equivalent of a level 60? I don't know. If they do just scale everyone down to roughly the same item level or amount of damage, then I think, uh, yeah, this would basically be a skill-only thing. Now, I hope they wouldn't make it too easy, because I still would like there to be a little bit of challenge here. Certainly, a Certainly, yeah, perhaps a little bit harder than LFR. I'm, I'm not too sure exactly how you would balance that. But certainly, it, it would be great if this could uh, serve as a way to get people into more structured raiding in a way that's actually nice and relaxed, because it's not like you're doing the current tier raid that's ultra hard. No, you're doing a more chilled out older raid, bit of fun, get some nice transmog gear. The stakes, you know, the stakes aren't really giantly high, and that could be a nice chilled out environment for people to get into into raiding. Now, if it was too much, uh, or like too similar to LFR, then I don't think that would happen because I don't really know if LFR gets many people into raiding. I, don't, I, just, I honestly don't think it does. I think Flex does do a great job of getting people into raiding, so maybe if they did it like that, it would work out quite well. But yes, absolutely fair point, and um, that would certainly be a worthy goal. Okay, so next we have a question, or not a question, I keep on saying question. Ah, damn itself. No, we have a comment from uh, Patrick Week, who said, uh, great vid, and thank you for that, but he said that personally, I think the transmog rewards would be awesome, and instead of having transmog pieces dropping from certain bosses, 
he would take the weekly quest idea and combine it. So here's the example. You have a legacy quest called Black Temple, and that would be to defeat Illidan Storm Rage in Black Temple on legacy difficulty, and the reward would be a cloth leather mail or plate cache of Black Temple. And this cache could contain a full transmog set that is Black Temple themed. Now, if you do a legacy raid that isn't a part of that weekly, then it still contributes to an achievement. And his example achievement was Classic Raider Legacy. And this would, for an example, be um, unlocked by completing Molten Core, Blackwing Lair, AQ40 and AQ10 on Legacy difficulty. And the reward for that would be a unique uh, title and then a classic raid themed mount. So actually, I think this is a really awesome idea. It would be a great way of formalizing a system like this and giving some cool transmog sets. Now, one thing that could be a bit of a problem is then maybe if they had to do a new transmog set for each raid, then it would be too much work for the art team. So they'd probably just have to go with the older ones, in which case the question is how much extra would that be adding in comparison to the current system? It would nearly have to be a, a more unique uh, Black Temple themed set, just as an example there. But still, I think it's a really great idea in principle, and if they could bring this into an expansion, I think it would be absolutely fantastic, and it would provide a lot of cool gameplay. Um, and that said, it still could be a lot of work for the art team, but I think that if they were just making... Yeah, perhaps if we boiled it down to there being one transmog set per expansion, so you have the, I don't know, the, the Hunter Burning Crusade transmog set from these legacy ra um, raids, then yeah, maybe that would be a little bit more doable for the, uh, for the team and that could make a little bit more sense. And even if they couldn't do it all in one go, they could just add it in one expansion at a time. So maybe patch 6.1 contains Burning Crusade. I think that would be kind of cool actually. But of course, what is very important is that they don't ever take away from making new content and pushing forward with the patch cycle and the, the patch story and that kind of thing. Still though, totally cool idea and uh, I think well executed. It could be a giant help to the game. It could be a lot of fun. So there we go, that is basically just a roundup of uh, the main kind of gist of the comments from what people said and I think that overall it's a system that a lot of people would enjoy that's that's evident and uh, yeah Blizzard if you're hearing this then uh, well consider it you know it could work out pretty cool um, and pretty well and if so it would be cool anyway that is it for today's video I'm gonna go and uh, collapse in a heap and sleep because one of the fun bits about university is that you end up doing all your videos very late at night because you're busy during the day. Ah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. And if you want to support the channel and that kind of thing, then you can check out my social media links, which are in the description. And then my Patreon page, which is, um, it's basically like Kickstarter for YouTubers, and it's pretty cool. Lots of people like uh, Smooth McGroove have started to use it. And I think there's some other WoW YouTubers that are considering using it as well. So that might pop up soon. Should be kind of cool. Get all the, all the WoW people on that. Ah, anyway. Uh, yeah, have a nice day and I will see you next time.